uh, advanced summon. Um, okay, it, uh, what, Te Tesla, what, what? It, it didn't turn. It thinks it's just a person. It would never have done even this before. So this is actually quite incredible. And then hopefully it will go around these cars. Come on, Tesla, you can do it. Yes, yes, look at that, everyone. It's going around the cars. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be testing out the car on roads with no lines. That is right. So you can see right here that the lines completely disappear. I'm currently controlling the acceleration as we go around these corners and stuff. And we're gonna see, does the car now stick to the left-hand side? Because previously, it never stuck to the left-hand side here in the UK. And that could be a little bit scary considering we drop, whoa, those, those birds are fighting. That pigeon and that blackbird were fighting. That was really quite interesting to see. Okay, so it's sticking nicely actually to the left-hand side here, so that's quite good. I'm just gonna bring the speed down a little bit as we go around this corner. Is it gonna keep on to the left? Yes, it is. Wow, it's done that really well. Okay, so let's bump it up. So let's go up, up to 30 here. So previously on any road like this, the car wouldn't stick to the left-hand side. We'd be, well, yeah, we'd be more, okay, we've got a person coming. So I'm gonna have to obviously turn off autopilot and go around him. Interestingly, the car didn't even show him on the screen, but that turned off autopilot. So that's annoying. So we now don't have any more lines. And as you can see, the car won't turn autopilot back on. So the only way to get it to work currently is if there are lines previously, it will carry on uh, self-driving as long as it can. So let's see if there's some lines further up ahead and let's see if we can get this to turn on again. It is a Sunday, so there's like nobody on the road. So what we can do here, as you can see behind me, there's nobody behind me. Let's also do a very happy Sunday morning zero to 60 test. Ready, steady, go. This is a cold start. Someone timed that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it was, but Woof! <laughs> this car is so fun. Interesting. So those cyclists there, they weren't obviously a, a worry to us at all, uh, but the car decided to make one of them red and alert me about it. So I guess the car was a little bit more worried about that than I was. Here we go. Let's see how it handles this then. So this is going to be coming off back onto uh, a road with no lines. You can see that there's absolutely no lines on this road now. Uh, I'm going to bring it down to 40. It is a 60 down here, but we're going to do 40 while obviously the car's driving itself. Just going to turn the aircon on because the, the windows are starting to fog up a little bit. Now, like I said previously, it would not stick to the left-hand side of the road, whereas currently, this is doing it actually pretty well and pretty nicely. Uh, I'm just going to bring it down to 30 as we come up to this corner here. I think there's some cyclists potentially in front of us. Uh, so I just want to make sure. Oh, okay. So the car did a very hard brake there and it got a little bit worried. Let's see if the car's gonna take the corner. Yeah, the car took the corner really nicely and it's still sticking to the left side of the road. Let's bring this up to 40. Now here we have got puddles and it slightly diverted itself from the puddles, but obviously not massively because we did get a big splash still. Okay, it's going slightly to the right here. Yeah, this is a little bit still not what we're wanting from the car. We really want it to stay closer to the left-hand side on roads with no markings. I'm gonna bring it down to 30 here for this corner. Now it is a Sunday morning. There is nobody else on the road really. Yeah, still sticking to the left. It's doing better than it ever has done before. It would never have got this far before. I'm actually pretty amazed to be honest <laughs> that it's got this far. Sticking to the left still. Here comes a car. It, it stuck to the left. It's still, it goes slightly to the right, but it always pulls itself back in. But you saw, for example, the speed that that Ford came around these this corner. Cars come around this road at 60, uh, and obviously the car's gonna have to judge that in future. But if it stays to the left-hand side of the road like this, this is really quite good. No, actually, this is doing really, really well. Okay, slightly to the right here. You can see that it put the road as the whole width for us. So we're, we're sat in the middle of the road and there it tried to pull us over to the right-hand side. So I had to take control uh, because it did go to the right-hand side of the road. So I think when the road gets smaller and it gets tighter in, the car actually thinks that it's like a one-way road or it's, the, you know, it's one lane uh, and that's where it gets problems. So I'm gonna bring it down to five miles an hour here and you're gonna see why. Again, there's no one behind us. Um, there's no one around us. You can do autopilot now at five miles an hour. 
which is really quite interesting. This is one of the tightest corners I know. Like seriously, this is one of the tightest corners I know. Is it gonna be able to do it at five miles an hour? Let's have a look. No, look at that, it's aborting and it did not like it at all. That's really interesting. So even at its slowest speed, because of our EU laws, it still will not go around a corner like that. But it's picked up uh, autopilot again because it did find those lines there. And again, look, yeah, the car's now gone fully on the right-hand side of the road, and we need to take it back over to the left because obviously I can't see around that corner. So, it's still not working perfectly, is it? That's, that's definitely not working perfectly. Let's go back and try that road again. We're gonna attempt this corner again, but obviously we're gonna be on the left-hand side, so it's gonna be even tighter for us this time. Um, let's just see if Autopilot is gonna turn on again. Does it want to? Yeah, it says it says it will. And obviously I've got to bring it all the way down. Oh no, that was cutting too tight. That would have curbed it. But you know, that is that is a corner from hell. You're, you're not gonna see many of those corners uh, around. So hopefully that won't be a big issue. Okay, it's been able to turn autopilot back on again, thanks to those lines. And now we just want it to stick to the left side of the road. It's going a little bit too far in the middle. And like here, for example, the road does get tighter. So it does look like almost one lane uh, and here you can see that the car does go into the middle of the road very slightly come on mate go slightly to the left there's no one in front of us no one behind us so we are we are fine doing this um yeah it's okay so now it's stuck to the left again because it's a wide road and i think you can see further it knows that this is a two-laned road and it's staying closer to the left hand side but it's when it goes to a corner and the road tightens again here the road tightens at this corner I think is where it's gonna slightly try and cut the corner. I take that back, it did it perfectly. Wow, okay, I take that back. Okay, now it's gone slightly to the right and now it's, yeah, now it's pulled us back. Kinda diverted that puddle. So my hands always are on the wheel, by the way, but I just touch it very slightly. As long as this is blue, you know that I'm not driving. I'm literally not doing anything at all. Again, yeah, it's correcting itself, pulling itself over to the left-hand side. It's really interesting actually to see how it does this because it's doing better it's doing better than it ever has done before. It would never have done even this before. So this is actually quite incredible considering it is just looking at tarmac and grass and it's guessing. Well it's not guessing obviously it's calculating all. Oh it dodged that puddle for us. Will it dodge this puddle? So I'm pretty sure it dodges puddles. Slightly, you could see that when it gets to a puddle, I think the camera might get slightly confused and it wants to divert it as much as it can. Let's pull this up then uh, to 40, 40 miles an hour. And as the road gets wider, these have got a lot more stable and secure. It can kind of tell that it's staying on the left-hand side of the road. And look at this, it's actually doing this really, really well and it's keeping us to the left-hand side of the road. Wow, this is really good. So this is actually, it's, it's hit and miss, I guess, because obviously it's not made for this, okay? And whenever I say full self-drive or FSD or anything like that, I hope you all understand that I don't mean this is level five autonomy. This is not level five autonomy, um, but you can only do these features if you pay for the full self-drive update. So that's why obviously we call this full self-drive because you can't get these features uh, unless you actually pay for the update. Now here is an area where it failed recently and it's at the top of this. So at the top of this, it's a very, it's a blind left turn. It's very tight. Let's see if the car can do it. Yeah, it slowed itself down. That's the first time it slowed itself down for that. And it did the corner with no problems and we're still driving along really well. That's worked really well. In this little 40 here, there are some insanely tight corners. So let's uh, let's give this let's give this a go as well, shall we? Is the car going to slow itself down like it did before? Because that's what it needs to do. It needs to learn to slow itself down. It might think this car's on the road. It's not going to slow itself down. Now it's starting to slow itself down. It has turned all the way around there. 
it's done that correctly actually i think the curb it touched the curb it felt like it touched the curb very very slightly interesting yeah so again it's slowing itself down there but more of like a warning where it, whereas before it slowed itself down on its own back this is interesting so we've got a slight speed bump and back down yeah the car didn't have a problem with that and you can see here that there are no lines on this road uh, i'm controlling the, the the speed with my foot by the way currently and now it now it's controlling itself it doesn't slow down for speed bumps or anything like that yet and this car he's moved over for us so the car's actually slowed down and uh, and done that nicely and now this is going to be really interesting okay so we've got a speed ramp that's kind of half the road and then hopefully it will go around these cars come on tesla you can do it yes yes look at that everyone it's going around the cars that are parked on the road and now if this gets itself back over to the left hand side of the road here that will be phenom phenomenal but as you can see it's not it's still sticking to the right hand side of the road we can see no one's coming so this isn't too bad at the moment but yeah it's sticking to the right hand side of the road so i think once it determines whether it's on the left or on the right hand side it just stays there and it's not going to bring itself back over uh, to the other side of the road whoa okay okay what's going on what whoa what just happened i'm driving myself and the car just i didn't even see what happened on the screen i think it said i was getting too close to the left hand side i know categorically i wasn't but that's interesting that it thought that should we do another 0 60 really quick because there's no one around us <laughs> and i haven't been able oh look at that it's interesting it's thinking there's two lanes in front of us three two one go Woo! man never gets old now this is very interesting we've actually got two horses uh up ahead and a person on the horse so what does the car think of this in its driver visualization is it going to think of the horses as bikes is it just going to panic and get confused or what i'm really intrigued obviously i'm watching the horse as well it thinks it's just a person that's interesting so it thinks it's just a person um, I guess it saw the person on top and thought it must just be a giant <laughs> of some sorts. So they haven't put horses in yet. I honestly was going to go up to like a, a field that had a load of cattle in it and just point the car's cameras at the cattle to see if that would work. But um, after seeing that, I don't actually think that would work if I'm being honest. Here we go. We've got some lines coming up. So we're going to be able to turn autopilot on here. This is another brutal corner. Uh, it is very, very tight. So I'm going to bring it down to 20. <laughs> and we're going to give it a go at 20. It should be able to do this at 20, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah. It did it okay. Is it going to do this one? This one's a little bit tighter. But again, yeah, it's doing it. It's going slightly over. You see, we the car still won't turn quite tight enough here in the UK to do some of these corners. And I don't understand why that's a problem still, as in... It's a lot more dangerous than just allowing it to turn. So I would love the UN or the EU or whoever made that rule, please turn it back. Okay, it's uh, it's noticing that as a cone, which is interesting. And you can see it's trying to stick to the left-hand side of the road, but it is still slightly going to the right, like that, whoa. And I want it to stay to the left, there we go. That's it, keep on over. Now, I have noticed as well um, previously when I've done this and I haven't recorded, if a car comes around the corner on the other side of the road, it does shift itself back over to the left. Whoa, okay, it brakes really hard there. Whoa, and again, there's no one behind us, no one in front of us. Like I said, it's Sunday, there's no one driving. There's some puddles. <laughs> the car is just beeping at me constantly. Uh, but my hands are on the wheel, which is... But you can see that the car here, yeah, it is uh, it is dodging, actually, the puddles. It dodged those puddles really well there. So there's no one in front of us, and we've got quite a nice little stretch ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the speed up. And I wonder if, with a little bit of increased speed, sometimes there's extra stability in what the car thinks. Yeah, look, see, it's sticking to the left better at high speeds. It's actually sticking to the left better at high speeds. There's a puddle, which it tried to go around slightly again. And now we'll bring it back down to 25 for these corners. Now we've got a cyclist coming up, and obviously I'm going to be very, very careful um, with this. 
but I'm intrigued to see what the car does. It's sticking to the left-hand side nicely. It saw the cyclist and it didn't have a problem with him. Slightly went to the right there, but it got itself back into the, uh, the left-hand side of the road fine in the end. And now it's coming up to here. Again, it won't stop at the end of the road. Um, oh, actually it is braking, but it's not gonna come to a complete, complete stop. And I'm gonna have to take control from here. So what do you all think about that? How do you think that handled no lines, back country roads? I thought it did really well. I honestly didn't expect it to do that well. It's never done that well before on any software or any other hardware. It's been completely like you cannot drive on those roads. It will not do it. Whereas now, it kind of does. Don't get me wrong, I would never use that in a normal day-to-day -day usage on those roads. You just wouldn't uh, yet. But it shows that they are working on it and kind of in shadow mode, there are extra things going on with the car and it is trying to figure out other things. So I was actually really quite happily impressed with that. Uh, there aren't loads of roads obviously that have that issue where the lines, uh, there are no lines on the road. But for this to be full level five autonomy, it's gonna have to be able to do those roads. Like there is no question about it. If it can't do those roads, it won't be level five autonomy because it won't be able to get some people to their front door, uh, to the pub that they're trying to get to, you know, I, or wherever they're trying to go. So I think it is quite interesting that they clearly have worked on it and it is progressing quite nicely. On roads like this, of course, though, it's absolutely fine. And so I drove down from Hereford down here to Wiltshire. I do it most, you know, a few times a week, pretty much. And 95% of the journey, I use autopilot. This is the 5%. The 5% is these kind of roads that I just don't use it on. All the other roads like this, I'm so confident on um, that I literally, I don't even second guess it. I don't think twice about it. Still though, when we come up to roundabouts, lights or a town, that is when obviously I'm gonna to have to take control, um, which I think is something that they will have to work on quite soon. If they want this to become full self-drive by 2020, they, and robo-taxis by 2020, they're gonna to have to sort this out pretty sharpish. I'm off to Tesco anyway, it is Sunday morning, so I'm gonna cook myself a fry up. It doesn't open for another five minutes. I've never been to Tesco before it's opened, which is uh, quite impressive. And bloody hell, I thought he was coming straight across. And you can actually self-drive down to Tesco. I'm gonna go all the way down to five miles an hour here. Look, we can actually self-drive to Tesco. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I can see that there's nobody around here. And this, I guess, is what the five miles an hour is for. This is what the um, uh, advanced summon. Um, okay, it, uh, what, Tes Tesla? What? It it didn't turn. Did it completely miss that? I swear down that just completely missed it. Um and now I'm going into I'm going into the thing. Oh crap. There's actually a huge Tesco lorry coming right behind me right now. I'm going to have to get out of here. That is hilarious though. I can't believe it just did that to me. Oh my days. This Tesco lorry's like um yeah, that that's that's uh, deliveries deliveries only. Sorry Tesco. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.